All right, guys, today's video is about liming. Why is it important? Should I lime? Why should I not lime? There's all kinds of do's and don'ts and things that people need to understand when they send these soil tests out and they come back and says your pH is wrong. Well, is it wrong because the number's below six? Is it wrong because the number's above seven? That's where you kind of have to... Uh, look for when it comes to your soil test and that will tell you a lot about what you need to do to your soil i will tell you right now my ground is acidic it has tested positive for acidity uh several golly bum i'd say more than 10 years ago uh, the test was below six it was in uh i think mid to upper five range wasn't very good so if at least I'm gonna stress this right here. Liming is the cheapest option when it comes to fertilizing or fixing your soil in food plots. Everything else gets way more expensive than what lime does. You can buy lime in bulk and have somebody spread it for you if need be. So I would recommend at least if you can't afford to do the other items, lime is at least the number one priority I would put in your ground if your pH level is not in the right direction. So your goal is to have it from 6.5 to 7 range is generally the what they consider the sweet spot. Now I want you to think about my past boron videos where I talk about not overdo, uh, overdoing boron, how it can kill your plants. You know, you don't want to just come out here on the same scale and throw a whole bunch of lime out and think I'm good. Your soil test will tell you how much you need to put out here, and that will give you the right balance for these plants. Uh, sit, acidic ground has many disadvantages to soil that is in that right pH for at least the plants that we set out here, okay? Uh, acidic ground is often accompanied by poor nutrition readings. Uh, particularly, potassium tends to be low, I have rarely, actually I have never seen a soil test come back where it tells me everything's great and uh, my, my soil's really acidic. Acidity eats away at this and it puts ground lock on nutrients. So you're, let's say you've got, uh, maybe your potassium's low, but maybe you've got a good trace mineral like manganese. So, you know, something that comes back good. Why is it not affected? Well, each type of nutrient is affected at a different rate, some may be not affected at all, but it can have different rates of decay in your soil in a way is kind of how I view that. Now, if your soil test comes back and let's say you got several really good things and uh, lime's a problem, acidity's a problem, you know, you've, you've got a few issues going on here, uh, that acidity is going to lock whatever they tell you is good. So you, you put your food plot out, you plant your plants, and suddenly they don't grow as well as you think they do for something that's got some decent nutrition in it. Well, that's because the acidity in the soil is locking up the nutrients. You, that's why they tell you you got to have it within that certain window for your uh, all your nutrients to function property, properly. There is a chart that I'll post on the community tab in my channel. I'm trying to put some more information on there for you. Uh, I already have two posts. One is about feeding deer. It lists the protein percentages of like pumpkin seeds, soybean, different things. Ignore the beef on there. I don't think it's on there, but it could be. Ignore anything that's meat related. Uh, that's just part of the picture scroll as I was going through there and copy and pasting some things on there. Uh, there's also a uh, nutrient deficient plant guide in there to help you identify those problems. So look for that in the community section on the acidity level. So basically, well, think of it as a chart. And if you're on left side of my screen means acidic ground. So when you get to the middle, you're in perfect harmony for these plants to work. Once you cross that seven number, the plants degrade again. So if your soil's here and you don't put out um, 
your lime, but you put fertilizer out, you will not get the full effect. And that in, it's basically functioning like boron, but it actually opens up more nutrients than what boron can. So don't just rely on boron to fix your soil. There's many things you need to work on in order to get this right. So this food plot was pre-treated with lime and I put 500 pounds of lime out in here, which is at a broadcast rate of 2,000 pounds per acre. You can, some acidic soil really needs a lot of lime and other soil does not. Now, what if you don't want to fool with a soil test? Is there something you can look for when it comes to acidic ground? The answer is yes, there are multiple signs that the soil is acidic. One is a lot of moss. Usually moss indicates acidity in the ground because it likes that type of soil. Uh, two, sometimes it's all about some of the trees you have in your area. If you have a lot of pines, I guarantee you, you're gonna have acidity in your soil. So that area around this pine tree has probably got the worst acidity. And I did add additional lime there beyond the 500 pounds. I think I put an extra maybe 25 pounds out around that tree or so just to kind of cancel some of that out a little bit. Uh, there's also ferns that like to grow in acidic soil. So if you ever see some rocky mountainous terrain, you see a lot of moss and ferns and you know, evergreens growing on it, that ground's probably not conditioned very well as far as your pH goes. So you have to make sure that when you do these food plots, by all means, at least do the liming if you can't afford anything else. Cheapest option out there, lime is sold in bulk at cheap prices, although it's not nearly, it's not as cheap as it used to be, but nothing is anymore right now but it will greatly assist your food plot. If you just keep planting your food plots and you, you're actually going to infertil and do the fertilizing route, I should add to that, uh, your, your plots will waste more money. You're gonna overload it with fertilizer, assuming that that's, you know, what you set out is not enough and all it was was the lack of due diligence in doing lime. I highly, highly recommend liming as a pre-prep for your food plots. Be aware, lime is not a fast-reacting fertilizer like a lot of uh, your P and Ks, even your trace minerals. Lime takes time to take effect. So if it's winter time, let's say maybe February, of course this will vary depending on where you live, you might want to apply it in February or March that way when you do your spring and summer plot, that, that soil pH level will be adjusted for that type of push. Uh, there are two different types of lime. There's the pellet lime, which I use. Uh, it is a faster reacting type lime. There's also what we call farmer's lime. It's the big gigantic bulk powder that people buy. It is very nasty to spread over your soil but it, it takes longer to kick in, but it lasts longer than pellet lime. So there's kind of these pros and cons to the different type of lime you pick. And I'd much rather do the pellet, get a faster reaction, drop the pH down quicker. And then eventually, once my bacteria numbers and worm numbers build up enough, I won't need that anymore. So I gotta knock down what the problem is now in order to fix it for the future. So that is very, very very important i mean you can see now right this is far cry from what i just showed you in a previous video i mean i have this is literally let's see here one two four days five days apart from where i shot this video look at how fast this thing is growing this is soil that is pre-amended even this back half has joined the party now right the trace minerals are working. You can see uh, some of the trees cause problems and that's to be expected. A lot of roots there, sucking nutrients, taking moisture. Your, your germination rate won't be as good around trees. So be expecting of that. You can try throw additional seed in there if you want to, but liming is definitely the number one thing I would do here. 
And I think that's a big reason why this plot has responded so much better. It was the addition of lime that I set out. I could tell this ground was just really acidic without a soil test. I knew it was so many signs in here that it was really bad. So now the soil pH is not down, although I can't guarantee you it's at 6.5 or 7, but I need a soil test to get me to that point. So I hope this helps you be aware. I want to summarize real quick. Acidic soil is nutrient lock in your ground and it can decay surplus nutrition. So if you're dumping fertilizer in here and no lime, it eats away at your surplus in your fertilizer. It may take some time or it may not take as much time depending on how far down the acidity scale you go. If you're on the alkaline side of things, you know, that can be also just as bad. Your growth rates can be reduced. Nutrients get locked up once again. So that's why you got to be in that 6.5 to 7 range to satisfy the type of plants we put out in these plots. You all have a good day and more to come on the island because it sure looks like it's going to blow it up this year. Have a good one.